I'm about to talk about a model railroad scale that I literally did not know existed until I went to write this episode. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name's Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. Just drinking whatever was in the coffee pot this morning. So if you want to tell me what kind of coffee you are drinking, you can leave that in the comments below. Maybe feature like these guys right here. Cheers, everybody. Let's start off with some layout and progress shots from Multi Hobby Man. Multi Hobby Man's layout is under construction, and you know how I love showing under construction layouts. He's got a lot of cool shots here showing what he is doing. He's using extruded foam as his base, which is something that I use for a lot of layouts that I build. And again, I love showing these things because not all of us are in the stage where our layouts are complete and we are building, and it's great to see what other people are doing. So thank you, Multi Hobby Man, for sending this in. Next up, check out LDRR Local Rail Fan's in-scale layout. LDRR Local Rail Fan has a layout here with Kato Unitrack. You can see he's also got some sections with some trees on him and all sorts of stuff. He is modeling a fictional Canadian town called Kennyville, and it is operated by the Canadian Pacific. And, you know, he's got some Canadian Pacific power right here, and you know how I feel about Kato Unitrack. Love the stuff. He's also got this cool little boxcar right here as well. So... Keep it up, LDRR. This looks great. Next up, we have a layout from CSX Gaming. CSX Gaming has a layout that he actually started with H.O. Bachman Easy Track, and he's completely redone it with Pico Flex Track. He's now modeling British Double O, and it's a really cool little layout. You can see it has a lot of different features right here. I love this little shot of the town as well. He's doing a great job with it. I really like seeing the mountains and the hillside. This is just a great great little layout to check out. Thank you so much for sending this in. I really love it. Here is Christopher Foote's layout. Christopher Foote has a great layout. You can check out here. It's got a lot of cool things in it. You can see it's got a lot of countryside scenes. It's got a yard scene. It's got a bunch of different things. It's even got this cool city scene. I'm interested in that floating cloud as well that you can see in that picture. Just a lot of neat things going on here. This is a really great looking layout. He builds this with a group from his church. And it is just a really, really nice thing to see. It looks really, really great. Thank you so much for sending this in, Christopher. It looks awesome and it looks like a ton of fun to run. Here is James Isaac's GN15 layout. Okay, so James Isaac has made this layout, and it is a GN15 layout. And I had to actually look this up. It's a really unique scale. It is G scale running on HO gauge track. So it is a narrow gauge of G scale. So this is something that I have personally never seen before, but now that I look at it, it looks absolutely phenomenal. And the work that he has done on this is simply outstanding. Check out the detail that he has put into this. It looks really, really awesome. I love all of this. He actually has a YouTube channel where he details a lot of different things that he's done with this layout, and I'm going to link that right up here, as well as in the description below. Um, got a lot of details, even shows how he put uh, DCC in the locomotive and everything like that. So, Thank you so much, James, for sending this in. It looks awesome. I love showing my viewers model railroads. It's just so much fun because I love showing railroads of all skill levels and everything because it shows people all these different ways to do model railroading. If you want to show your model railroad, no matter what stage of completion it is in, you can send that to the email in the description below. I only ask that you try to include a wide shot of your layout, and I do only feature layouts that are actually under construction so just layout plans i'm typically not going to feature but definitely showing anything under construction so thank you all so so much for watching until next time i'm jimmy from the diy and digital stay safe be kind drink some coffee and happy railroading